Hi! Oh my gosh, you guys. I am doing this video and we are gonna feast really, really good together. <clears throat> so, hi. Welcome back to the show. We're back home. Should we do? We're home. Hello. We'll sing the song once we get back home. But I had Olive Garden like two days ago and huh, when I tell you it was to die for, I mean, it was to die for. So we're gonna get more. And we also have some Buffalo Wild Wings. And I'm thinking about going to Arby's or um, just the drive throughs you guys, before you start worrying for me. Um, yeah, and also, I know I look a little weird right now. I have, a fat, I have a hat on because my hair is a mess. And I look like a mess. Like, honestly, I look like a train wreck because I went to sleep at all last night. I was very, very, very busy doing something. And I'm exhausted exhausted you know that feeling when i like how i feel right now is when i used to stay up and write papers last minute in college or high school or take energy drinks oh those are the worst the energy drinks are the worst you can't pay me to take rockstar or red bull or what was that five hour energy energy shot i hated oh my god they made me feel my face would get flushed my heart would race and then i would feel drained and i would just oh that's kind of how I feel. Lack of sleep is very bad. And it's not that it's not that I can't sleep. I sleep amazingly now with my new CPAP machine. So research that if you have problems sleeping. It changed my life. And um, I'm not sponsored by any company to even tell you about. It's just something I like sharing with people because it literally changed the way I sleep, how I wake up. I feel better. Um, and I've only had it for like a month or two. Like two months now. I don't even know. Probably almost two months. So research that. Um, they're expensive, but it's worth it because it affects all areas of your life so anyways um i just had two little mandarins now actually these are clementines because they're tiny clementines do you know out of all citrus orlin told me this out of all citrus clementines have the least amount of seeds he says the smaller the the fruit the, the smaller the citrus so we're talking about like limes clementines tangelos tangerines da 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 da, da valencia oranges navel oranges you know all the citrus family um lemons the smaller it is, the less likely I have seeds. And that's why these are very popular because it's very easy to peel, just like this. It's so good. So hydrating and refreshing. I mean, I'm dehydrated again, lack of sleep. And it, mm, it just bursts. So juicy. Mmm. Look at that vitamin C. Antioxidants. Yeah, you get sugar, but. You need some sugar. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Um, sometimes I, you know, health, which I don't like to talk about, which just seems like I talk about like once every couple weeks. I'm like, let me tell you about health, even though I eat junk for a living. But it is such a like a merry-go-round. You hear that sugar is bad, and you hear, well, if they're demonizing fruit, it's an injustice to society because you need fruits. That's where you get flavonoids. That's where you get um, micronutrients that you're not going to get other places. That's you need fruit. You need like five servings a day to be healthy. Most people don't even have one serving a day. They're eating processed stuff. I mean, look at what I do for a living, you know? So I'm very well aware. So I know, like, honestly, people are like, don't have sugar. And then some people are like, yes, this is the good kind of sugar. Well, some people say, well, sugar, sugar. I mean, it's just, it's a merry-go-round with um, nutrition and dietary planning. I mean, oh my gosh, I've been on that merry-go-round for so many years, which is why I'm here as a mukbanger, because now I just don't care. <laughs> but honestly, I was so, like, into it. So, oh, breaking news, Orlin, um, we found, well, we had, but we went through an old hard drive, so he found it, we had misplaced it, who knows, and we're going through it, and we have so many old videos and photos of me and Orlin, um, and some of us are like, you know, like little bunny rabbits, ooh, and we're gonna post it, you know where, um, <laughs> we're gonna post that, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, my skin was so good. I mean, at some times it wasn't, but oh my god. But actually, I feel like considering what I eat, now my skin's really bad right now. I look flush, my eyes have big circles. Um, I'm thinking I'm having like a little breakout here under my lip. I, my skin, but you guys know, usually it looks fantastic. Oh, you know what it is too? I drink a lot of water, and now that um, the whole bit Bud Light issue is going around, um, I can't go on over to Publix and get my... Um, my my gallon multi was it five gallon water things to put into my water cooler to you know it's a dispenser and um i'm i i don't even want to go into stores i don't want to go shopping i mean i have things to do i have to go to the bank i have to do this i have to see this person i have to um return something to ups store for amazon i'm not going anywhere like i don't want to be around people i'll do the drive-through arms reach hand sanitized wash bring it home and 
it is what it is because you have to eat anyway so but in terms of like going to places i mean this is really gonna hurt the economy if you think about it um well it already has been this has been going on for a couple of weeks four or five weeks now five weeks so um anyways everybody um i don't even know what i'm trying to say oh yeah so i can't get those water bottles refilled from public so i'm drinking tap water now which is safe in orlando i mean I think it's safe in most U United States cities, other than Flint, Michigan, or what was that place that was, I think it was Flint, right? D really dirty water. You know, top water is pretty safe, but it does not taste good. In Florida, they use something called um, chloramide, chlor chlorhamide, chloramines, chloramides, chloramines, which um, aren't really good for you. I mean, they do it to clean it. It's like a cleaning agent, and obviously it's in small dosages, but I taste the Florida water here. It just tastes really bad. It just tastes funky. And um, so it's kind of making me drink a little less water and now I'm really, I'm, it's probably gonna reflect in my skin and my digestion and my sleep and my energy. So I'm kind of upset. I'm gonna have to force myself to drink water. Now I would add vitamin C little pa packets, but I'm running out of them. And everywhere I've looked online, again, I don't wanna go shopping in stores at this point in time. Um, I kind of did it, you guys know, like last week, I was still going to get stuff. We went to that Costco run. But that was very scary to me, you know, how we were all like distancing and um, all it takes is one person in there to walk around 50 people and now 50 people have it. Just that one person who walked around. Uh, it's just, no. You know, we if there is like a, it's, a bit, it's getting really, really big. I have a whole thing of, let's see, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We have about 12 five packers of noodles. So that's 12 videos right there. We have dumplings we have lots of seafood we have um chips and dip and we have some um we have frozen mozzarella sticks frozen chicken so i will still be able to eat and do videos well and then orland has lots of fruits and veggies we have big old pounds of rice like big kilo bags and we have potatoes um we have a balcony where we have kale swiss chard tomatoes um can't think right now that's we don't have that you know I think that's pretty much it. It's tiny, but it's a little something for little micronutrients. He has heirloom tomatoes. And um, yeah, everybody, uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Um, I just don't, I don't feel like really peppy right now, but maybe I look okay. I don't know. Thank you for spending time with me. I really do appreciate it. Let me just take this time right now to thank you for all of you who watch my videos from start to finish. That means so much to me, and I always forget how many people do. Like, I always feel like most people come in, they watch me take a bite, and they click out, which I'd say for half the people that's the case. But then there's another half of you guys that are watching start from finish every day, or sometimes twice a day, because I'm posting on my other channels because I'm that hungry. <laughs> but honestly, you know what I mean? And that blows my mind. Like, I'll see the comments after I post this. I'll come back an hour later to see what you guys think. So leave a comment. I'll be seeing you. And um, I should do some shout outs today, which I will. But anyways, I look down below and I see people in the comments saying things that I mentioned or did five, 10, 15 minutes into the video. I'm like, they're actually watching it all. Wow. In my analytics, I mean, it gives me an average, like watch time. So, that's an average, so if it's eight minutes, half the people watched above eight minutes, the other people watched below eight minutes. Or so, or like around eight minutes, everybody, you know, I, it's, 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 I don't know. So, but it does amaze me when you guys sit here for an hour, an hour and spend time with me. And um, it, it does mean a lot to me. I really, really do appreciate it. It feels like, again, I read all these comments and you guys are keeping me company. And um, it really means a lot to me. And again, we're all kind of like stuck in our houses now. So what else are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, and there's, you know, I don't have kids. I don't have any pets. Um, I really want a bird. I, I don't know what's going to happen with the whole birding breeding season because of this whole Bud Light thing. I don't know. I do not know what's going to happen, everybody. I really, really want a new Mr. Noodle. I want a baby that I can raise it, hatch it in my in my little hand. And my ba my son, my baby Noodle, you know, I really miss Mr. Noodle in Columbia. And um, the only way I'd ever be reunited with him is if I moved back to Columbia, which um, some days I think about, if I'm telling the truth, with... <sighs> like, sometimes I think, like, oh my gosh, like... It's a pro and a con. There's lots of cons I complained about all the time. But the pro was... I. Didn't really have as many money worries. It wasn't like the whole like healthcare, you know what I mean? Like the people are paying what, $10,000 to get a swab for the Bud Light thing. It's like, that's not right. Or the people are being charged so much money for like the treatment. It, it, that in itself 
would deter anyway from anyone from like wanting to stay here or live here or I don't but if you're here you're here it's just anyway so sometimes I do think about it. but anyways I don't think I will go back to Colombia um we toy with the idea literally every couple weeks we're like oh God, what if we stayed or what if we just moved to a safer place or well we were in a really safe place that's the funny thing we still were kind of like eat um it's just sad you know what do you do in this world but you try your best and forget the rest so i know i really shouldn't be complaining because you guys are here to forget your issues to come spend time with me so let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's not talk about that but um did i eat all four of them i guess i did mm, smells so good too mm, i forget where i get these probably walmart um yeah i think i got these at walmart they're not the cheapest though um but it is what it is, and I do put money into my food before anything else. Clothing, environment, car, furniture. I really, really want a robot mop, though. Like, oh my gosh. I'm literally gonna open, oh, someone's being, I'm literally about to open up a GoFundMe so I can have a vacuum mop. <laughs> like, it's a robot, I don't have to talk about it again, but you guys, oh, I really want one, oh my god. It would save me so many hours and so many back aches because I'm fat and it hurts to bend over. And I know I need to be losing weight, but I'd rather lose the weight on the treadmill, watching something and having a good posture, than crouching down and cleaning all of this. And this is not even this is not a big house, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh my god, that's one thing that's one thing that would deteriorate deter me away from, you know, say one day make a lot of money. Oh, am I gonna get a big YouTuber mansion, big house? I would never, because then I'd have to pay a maid to come in which i mean if you have money then you do that but if i don't want anyone in my house i would be responsible for cleaning all of it you know people are getting three thousand four thousand five thousand square foot houses i'm like oh my god do you you will become a slave to that place <laughs> um i mean even two thousand square feet is kind of like you're you're on you're you're cleaning space you're spending a couple hours dusting sweeping mopping if you do it daily or every other day like we try to do um because i really do like it clean but shh, it's still hours so i don't know how people do it um anyway well that's all i really gotta say i'm just gonna go get some food go to the drive throughs heat up some stuff fry some stuff um it's just gonna be um a collection of different things so and just chill with me because i'm not feeling very myself i don't even know what i said in this intro i literally don't look very good and i'm like sleepy but i'm also so hungry so i'm just gonna stuff myself and enjoy myself so let's do it together one two three here we go bam okay so this looks like a crazy hodgepodge mishimash <laughs> i know i'm like over here trying to do my thumbnail i'm like ooh, this is so good i had a bite the fettuccine alfredo okay 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 olive garden has the best fettuccine alfredo mm. Stop it. Mm. I got some Alfredo chicken. Mm. We got some Domino's pizza over here. Crispy. Mmm! That's actually really good. Mmm! How are you to do this? What I said. Here I have my favorite Buffalo Wild Wing sauce. Which y'all know, Southwest Ranch. <clears throat> this is worth living for. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh my God. Yes. I love you guys so much. <laughs> How blessed am I? How fortunate am I to eat like this? And still be alive. <laughs> Mmm. That's look at how flaky it is. That's very good. I'm usually not having the biggest fan dominoes, but that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, fourth time pulls over. We have a lot to work in here. 
We have ziti, four cheese. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Mmm. We got cheese raviolis. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> that really hits the spot. Italian food, wow. <clears throat> Taking some supplements too. Oh. <sighs> this is an eating show. That's what I'm talking about here. Let's do some nuggets. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Buffalo Wild and Tumpo. Mm. Alright, so I have this here. This here is Parmesan chicken, spaghetti, and lasagna all put together. And it looks so good. <clears throat> I put it on broil in the um, toaster oven, so it's like heated from the top, so that cheese got a little crisp again. I mean, that looks amazing. And then I know it's gonna be amazing, okay? Oh my god, yes. Mm. Oh my god. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I feel so naughty. Italian food, I'm telling you. Mm. And I don't eat Italian food that often either. And you all know that too. <clears throat> the marinara sauce kind of gets to me a little bit. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. <gasps> Ooh. How are you today? How are you today? That's what I say. That is what I say. I think my favorite is still this. I'm in love with Fettuccine Alfredo. Last time I've, I've gone, I said, which is literally a couple days ago, I was like, a couple days for you. This is literally the next day, but can't. There's only one editor. I don't hire anyone to edit for me. It takes forever. Mm. I need to do a video, like I said. Compare this to Cheesecake Factory. Who else sells fettuccine Alfredo that's really worth, you know, comparing? No words. No words. No words. It's so good. Mm. I'm trying to think who else sells sells Fed Chan Fredo that's like chainy chain restaurant. This red lobster? No, it's like more like a seafood it's like an oily it's a buttery linguine. That's what they have. Which I've had, and it's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. It's crap in the front. Mm. Mm. 
No cheese ravioli. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Can you say hallelujah? Let's do even another pizza. I'm actually really into this pizza. Mmm. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cheese ravioli number three. There's only three here. Eight the others. I'm still so sleepy. So sorry. Look at the way I'm eating. You'd think I've never eaten before. You'd think this is some kind of like crazy cheat day binge, something unhealthy relationship. No, I'm just hungry. And it's that good. Let's go back to here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have to cut it. Where's Oh, it comes right off like that. Chicken Parmesan. Mmm. Mmm. Just some spaghetti. I'm not the biggest spaghetti fan though. From Olive Garden, it's very like, you know, whatever. No, no, no. Tastes like whatever to me. And come to think of it, I think any spaghetti tastes like whatever to me. It's not that like, you know. Go back to my fettuccine. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Keeping me company. I'm all lonely right now. I'm just like, oh my God. Hungry, sleepy, chill. Like my eyes are shutting this whole video. I Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh bye bye box. Bye bye life. I hear people. Do you hear people? I see dead people. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I can't do anything without making a mess. Jeez. That's why I wear bibs in every show, rain or shine, no matter what. But, excuse me. I am so sorry. <clears throat> Buffalo Wild Wings. Why are you so good to me? Mm. I look like a crazy person right now. That's fine. This is how most mukbangers. Well, not most. Excuse me. Some. They just eat. They don't even talk. They just like. They just eat. 
for me, I feel so sorry to you. I keep apologizing. I'm not talking, entertaining, making you laugh, telling stories, farting. I'm just literally here eating. And I know it's still funny, I get comments all the time. Stop talking, just eat. Well, here you go. Because that's what mukbang is. It's eating together. Mm -hmm. This is so greasy. The amount of oil they put on there. I mean, my lips get coated with oil. I wonder what kind of oil. It doesn't even taste like olive oil. What kind of... Hey, Siri. Oh, I don't have my phone in here. This is Orland's phone. His Siri doesn't recognize my voice. They're voice directed. Voice controlled. This is like so... Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> Why is this water so, oh, wait a minute. Is this tap water? Oh, it doesn't taste as bad as like yesterday. Oh, do you know why? So maybe it's because I kept it in a bottle. So here's the thing. If you take tap water from the sink and you put it into a bottle, it must accumulate or concentrate the bad flavors. Because I'm drinking out my water bottle, you know, throughout the day. I'm like, oh, it tastes so bad. But this, Tastes fine to me. Okay, so what we did, so we have our bottle, ooh, we have our bottles that we buy from Publix, they're like five gallons, and each bottle's $20, it's thick plastic. Um, yeah, and so we have like four of them to rotate, so we spent almost $100 on bottles, big bottles for our little water dispenser. It's very tiny, it's a very, it's it's a, for a single family home, it's not for an office or something crazy. Um, and we go and get the new water filled up at the Publix and we bring it back. Again, I told you the story how it's closed. So now Orland says that he's filling up those empty bottles with the tap water and then putting it into the machine to keep cold. So if it's made cold, like you don't taste it as bad. I'm just gonna start drinking my water like this because out of the water bottle, it's terrible. Nyalino nasty, as that so Raven would say. Oh, so nasty. Oh, you know what it is? It's this fancy Alfredo. It's literally gonna knock, I'm literally gonna go to sleep. I'm literally gonna about to be knocked out. No video today. I can't even can't stay awake to edit. I pulled an all-nighter. You know, I watch these videos from start to finish. And with my ADD, I, it takes me, you know, if the video's about, you know, 45 minutes to an hour long, to import it, to watch it, start, stop, start, stop. I get distracted, take a break. You guys know I take a break. <laughs> In between, a couple times. You know, and then come back, and then listen for the sound, check the sound levels. You know, watch it, you know, maybe another portion where I thought there was mistakes. See if I were to add my Instagram shout out. Render it. That will take hours. Unless I'm in a time crunch and I'll tell you guys. Be like, hey, we're not ending today. So Nick, don't even just import it, slap it together, stick it out. Which still will take an hour because it takes forever to render. More than an hour, two hours. YouTube videos do not come up by themselves. So anyways, all I'm trying to say, I'm not complaining. I, I love what I do. I'm just saying that tonight I'm supposed to post and I'm so tired and I know I can't concentrate. This was excellent. I kind of want one more bite of the chicken parmesan. How do I have so much food? How does this happen? Oh. Mmm. Filming mukbangs when you're already sleepy is just a recipe for it. Going to sleep. Shoot, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post. I, do you think I post too much? Well, if you're here every day, then you like it. But imagine going to work every day, Sunday through Sunday. <laughs> um, I don't think people understand. The people who say, oh, it's nothing, they've never, edit they've never edited a video or put it on YouTube and set up with the algorithm and import all the information and oh. <laughs> I 
I'm not complaining. I never claim I never complain about you guys. No, I post every day because it's with pleasure. But I don't even know everybody. I'm about to fall asleep. This was wonderful. <laughs> well, I can have a little more. Uh, oh, is this more chicken? Oh my god, I have a whole nother chicken down here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Talk about this chicken parmesan. I mean, this looks excellent. You know it does. And it's still so warm. You'd think it'd be cold by now. Like, that's, that's pretty warm for being sitting here for a half an hour. I mean, how long is this video? Oh my god, I'm so full. I can't even move. I can't even breathe. I feel like it's this this is full. But you have to understand this is like 7000 calories. I mean, this is two fettuccines, two orders put together. I mean, that alone is like 2000 calories. Oh, I don't know how the food competitors do it where they would eat all this. I'm over here struggling to breathe. Mm. We're gonna stuff it in. I'm gonna have more chicken breast. Is this a breast? What part of the chicken is this? I think it's a breast. Parmesan chicken is chicken breasts. When I was vegetarian, I ate a lot of eggplant parmesans. I loved eggplant parmesan. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I'm trying to think, was I full? <clears throat> I was also younger, skinnier, probably I required less calories to stay. But still, I mean, I don't know. There's not many calories in eggplant. Like, did I feel full? I'm trying to think. The cheese was probably the only thing that held me over. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna eat this whole chicken parmesan right now. Oh my god. Flip switch. Dum dum. Ah ba 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 ba. Ah da 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 da. Flip switch. Flip flip. Ba da 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 da. Everyone's still doing that. That's like a thing on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, but I see it on Twitter. People repost it. It's it's very funny to watch. Um. This will be loves life and her son Darius. Still, it was so funny. So I mean, like. I had to look twice. I'm like, did they switch? They always look so similar. And that's a compliment, so don't don't even start nothing. But it, I, it made you blink, and you're like, I rewatched it like three times. I'm like, oh my god. And then Darius starts dancing with the wig, moving his hair around, letting the hair whip around. I don't even know what to say. I'm just falling asleep here. Oh, you guys, this was a very boring eating show, but maybe you liked this pace. Maybe you liked the boringness or the slow pace or just the relaxed pace. A lot of my videos are pretty jumpy and flashy and meltdowny, and you know what I mean, so. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day. I will see ya soon. I'll see ya on my new channel, More Nikocado. I don't know, or maybe this is on there. <laughs> Hi, you're here. I don't even know. Just consider following me on my new one. That's where I post every day. 
that's where I have to go edit and post now. So have a wonderful day. Peace out. Have, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just ready for bed. What time is it? It's only like, oh my God, six o'clock. I need a rush. Oh my God, I'm not gonna get the video. The video's gonna come out like by midnight. There's no way I could do this in four hours. Okay, bye.